congratulations on making your off-Broadway debut. How did this all come together? Well, you know, I'm a guy in his 70s, and in show business, after that age, phone doesn't ring much. Ah, uh, yes. And I got a phone call to bring this thing back. We started it about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was a little nervous that could I even memorize 65 pages of material. Right. And we went back and did it. We were in Buffalo, New York, and uh, the Mrs. Doubtfire tour opened mm -hmm. next to us. The director saw it and said, have you ever thought about doing this in New York? I said, every day of my life, but I don't know anybody. He connected me with uh, the oh, Schubert wow. organization, and here we are. That's nice. crazy. Uh, overcoming obstacles. Yes. Not obstacle courses. No. Obstacles. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I, um, through my life, I was hosting the messiest show on TV, <laughs> and I had obsessive compulsive disorder, so that was oh. tough to overcome. Yeah. I've had cancer a couple of times, and I was in a car accident where I broke every bone in my face. Oh. And so the question becomes, why do some people, when they get a, an obstacle in front of them, figure a way to go over, under, around, or through, and other people just kind of back off and say, I'm not doing that. And yeah. so it's about overcoming obstacles and positivity and uh, being able to, to move past those obstacles. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Well, you know, you, you, you have been famously just um, very open about your OCD diagnosis, about your taxi, taxi accident in 2012, um, but now you're even publicly speaking about your battle with leukemia, which I think is very courageous. Why now? Um, I guess the answer is why not uh, at this mm. point in my life. And it's yeah. about uh, paying it forward. And um, what we find out is after the show, people come back and say, wow, uh, that 90 minutes changed my life in so many ways. And mm. so that's what we're trying to do, to, to get a, a positive message across. And so far, we seem to be doing well. We've been selling out, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's so yeah. awesome. Well, Mark, a few weeks ago, you posted on Instagram a photo of a billboard featuring you and your show in Times Square. You say oh, that okay. seeing it that moment was <laughs> insane. What was that like for you? Well, you never expect I'm a kid who grew up in the Midwest. I always wanted to be in theater, but I thought that was impossible. And at 49th and Broadway, there's a massive billboard of me. Uh, at the subway uh, at 49th and 7th, but I knew I made it when I was walking by a trash can in Times Square, <laughs> and there it was. <laughs> I fixed it. Yay! <laughs> My parents are so proud. I'm sure you've noticed we are set up here to play a little bit of Double Dare. Yes. You want to do that? L why don't we do that? Sounds like a great idea. Thank you. Let me take it away. Let's play a little Hughes version of Double Dare right about now. Woo. To my left, we have a team called the Bipartisan Broad. Say hello to Alyssa and Joy. <laughs> and to my right, we have the Hens and the Hanes. It's Sonny and Sarah. <laughs> Here's how it works, ladies. I'm going to ask you a question. If you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the points. But be careful. They can always double dare you back for four times the amount. And then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. You ladies won the... Uh, Little toss backstage, you get the first question. Here it is. Which sitting president's appearance is still the highest rated episode in view history? It's worth 10 points, or you Obama. could do it. Obama. Obama. Obama is right. Round of applause. Yes. Easy. Okay, normally you would keep control, but I want to give these ladies a chance. Here's your question. Which two hosts' heated exchange okay. led to the view's iconic split screen moments? Rosie and Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Absolutely right. We have a tie score. <laughs> Back over here, ladies. Including this episode, how many episodes of The View have there actually been? It's worth oh, uh, 10. You could dare That's them. That's math. That's hard. Can't do that. Yeah. How many in the <laughs> entire 27 yes. years? Or you could dare them. Let, let them I'll dare them. Oh, dare. good. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, ladies, how many episodes of The View, uh, including today, or you could double dare them back? It's an impossible. Five seconds. That's You're going to lose control. That's not easy. You can't answer that. Double dare. You gonna take the physical challenge? I'll triple we'll take, we'll right. take the physical challenge. 5,911, and uh, we're gonna take a physical challenge. In fact, both teams are gonna take a physical challenge, and here we go right now. Whoa. This one is called Utter Nonsense. And you will notice, audience, <laughs> that we have some cows up there, and what we have to do is milk those cows. And Joy, your job is to go right back behind this uh, little cow over here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to put uh, Sonny over here. And Sarah is going to have a little hat on oh with boy. a cup. And uh, I believe Alyssa is going to have a hat on with a cup. <laughs> and your job, ladies, is yeah. to take a container one at a time of milk, pour it into the udder, and then oh, squeeze good. that udder so it goes yeah. into the cup. The first team 
that gets it to touch the line <laughs> is the winner. What? And uh, if you don't win, we have a little surprise for you. So, Sarah, sit down. Do I look and, as uh, cool understand as what I you feel? Have to do, you Sunny? do. You do. You all set? What am I doing? You're, what you're doing? You're going to come over here. You're going to pour the milk in <laughs> the udder, and then you're going to squeeze it into the milk cup. Pump. You want it to get to the touch line. First team that does that gets 20 points right, of control of this right, game. <laughs> Audience, cheer them on. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. You can do it. Don't stop just yet. Who's going to touch the line? Oh, no. It's neck and neck. Oh, no. And it looks to me like Sonny is a little bit closer. And not quite there. The blue team did it. The blue team did it right here. We have a winner. We have a winner. So, uh, Sarah, you did a great job. And when we come back, Somebody over on this team is going to get slimed, but we're going to find out who that is right after the break. Thank you. Before we slime, Melissa, we want to tell you that the life and slimes of Mark Summers is playing at the New World Stages now through June 2nd, and everybody, everybody in our studio audience is going home with a pair of tickets. Take a little time to enjoy the view, but first, enjoy this view of Alyssa getting her slide. Carry on. Okay, this is Alyssa. I love you. I love Alyssa, but she did work for Trump once. 